Now, the executive director of the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, Fashion Shrab, has now disclosed that about 121 children in Nigeria have been infected by the environmental polio virus across the Federation. Shrab disclosed this at the third quarter review meeting of the Union Northern Traditional Leaders Committee and Primary Health Care Delivery. Benedict Uku has won this report. At the third quarter review meeting of the Northern Traditional Leaders Committee on Primary Health Care Delivery, the Executive Director National Primary Health Care Development Agency, Faisal Shwaib, has disclosed that about 121 children in Nigeria have been infected by the environmental polio virus. The Executive Director explained that the polio virus is a virus that exists where there is low routine immunization care and where there is poor water sanitation. This is not a wild polio virus, so this is the virus uh, that uh, exist where there is uh, low uh, routine immunization. Now, where there is low routine immunization and where there is uh, poor uh, water and environmental san sanitation, then you begin to see uh, that uh, the uh, vaccine-derived uh, uh, virus uh, mutates. And this is why we've had uh, these outbreaks in different parts of the country. And we have, you know, right around about 121, uh, you know, cases, whether they, they are in the environment, uh, or otherwise. Uh, but working with the uh, Northern Traditional Leaders uh, Committee on Primary Health Care Delivery, uh, we've been able to mount outbreak responses uh, to make sure that the tools that we're using uh, will ensure that these outbreaks stop. Chwaib also noted that traditional rulers are working on how they could increase the knowledge of their subjects and how they can understand the link between poor water availability and poor environmental sanitation and the need to clear up the environment. So we're in control of the situation. We're hopeful that uh, before uh, the uh, end of the rainy season, we'll be able to carry out enough campaigns to make sure that uh, we're able to, uh, to cover this. We we'll continue to work with traditional leaders. They've been very instrumental in making sure that they convince uh, mothers, fathers to take their children for routine immunization. Uh, the meeting here today is really to see how we can focus on the different diseases and the root causes, right? While noting that Nigeria accounts for 70% of polio cases across the continent, the UNICEF country representative Peter Hawkins said he is certain that Nigeria will come out of the outbreak of environmental polio in no time. Polio in its various forms and its environmental polio at, at its core is here with us. 120 children that so far have been affected in 2021. Nigeria accounts for 70% of polio cases across the continent. We are out implementing the outbreak response to contain the spread of these diseases, just like when we were fighting wild polio together before. And in the same way, we need to come together to fight this, both the pandemic, the polio, and also to strengthen routine immunization. The chairman of Northern Traditional Leaders Committee, His Royal Highness Samaila Muhammad Umera, said that they have been sensitizing their subjects on the need to take their children for routine immunizations. But uh, what we intend to do as a committee is uh, one, to lead by example. I have taken my two shots from the onset, and I believe every member of the committee has taken. And uh, we've also advised and guided our councillors and members of Emerald Councils to also take. We are bringing in traditional and uh, other traditional leaders on board. We are bringing in all religious leaders that can influence people to also speak on the subject. Shoaib, however, noted that the agency will continue to work with traditional rulers in convincing their subjects to take their children for routine immunizations.